What is going on guys? Today we are looking at the new Shapeshifter mini release, Adama Triore. You're tired of... You're tired of coming up against teams that want to rip your hair out every single day. Make sure you check u7buy.com for the most reliable and cheapest coins on the market. And at checkout, make sure you hit that JT11 for 5% off your order and hopefully you have a good day. So if we are having a look at this beautiful 95 rated center forward, honestly, he looks immaculate. He's gone back to Barcelona. I believe he was there right at the start of his career, which was, yeah, he started there in FIFA 15. He then moved to Aston Villa, to Middlesbrough, then to Wolves. And he's had a couple of years, a nice uh, team in a season in 20, a foot is in 21. And this year he's had a versus card for Wolves. But now we've got the big cheese, the four star, five star, absolutely rapid, moves like an absolute tank. 5 foot 10 high low right footed with some very decent stats and honestly the only thing that I ever had a problem with with Traore is he just couldn't finish. His dribbling was actually really nice, did feel blocky at times because I feel like they've added, not necessarily added so much strength but because of his strength and his physique he normally was quite clumsy in the box, didn't necessarily have that eloquent, eloquent uh, dribbling which normally led to him being just an absolute pace monster rather than somebody who gets to the byline and then cuts in. He kind of just has to go down the byline and pass it in. So uh, very interesting to see how he does today. He is centre forward so we are going to be putting him up front because his normal card is a right wing so not a massive difference personally. He was an 86 before this so a huge increase in stats and I'm very very interested to see what this guy can do. He's coming in at 6.30 on the Xbox, 5.30 on the PS, and 5.30 on the PC. So let's have a look, see what Triari can do. What's really interesting is obviously he's got that foot of five star weak foot now. That should be a massive, massive part in this guy's kind of reign. I want to see him here. I want to see what this left dribbling can do. I was going to say, I'm going to find him in again here. Like I say, he's normally quite blocky. He seems okay at dribbling, nothing too crazy, but definitely straight off first impressions is better than the base card, which, you know what, I am expecting. I don't really expect him to be playing like his 78 rated gold, but normally the, the animation seems to stay, stay the same, so I'm hoping they have kind of gone a bit different in that end spec. And is he on side? Can we cut in? Referee, that has got to be a penalty. How on earth is this man falling over? Nobody's pushing over the tank. It's even the, the corner guy as well. When can we get a left foot in here? We're going to turn. He is. He's he's very much all acceleration. You can notice that even from here. We've kept that in. Oh, no, we didn't. He is very much acceleration. That That is natural what this guy is all about. He's going to see a bit of Ramos in. Shapeshifter. He's going to show him how a striker moves. And he's nearly scoring an own goal. Oh, my God. There he is again. He's very weird to see him do some elasticos. And Neuer is just not going to let him score yet. Good header out. And that's the kind of good thing about him. The, physical, the physicality side of him is normally pretty solid. So any sort of strength battles, you know you're pretty good with Traore. The one thing I think that's definitely in Traore's favor in terms of potentially being picked for a team is the the, the Spanish guys you've got. Pedri, obviously, then you've got Ferran Torres, Future Star. There is a lot of top-end Sp uh, Spaniards now. Really, really top-end. So we will have a look and see what sort of players we're looking at there. But just them three alone, the trio that you could make is absolutely incredible as Perlo is absolutely dashing through. And that's got to... How have we missed two penalties here? That is definitely a penalty if I've ever seen one myself. As we try and find a bit of Troy Ray here. We find him across. He's going to go for that power shot. But unfortunately, it's not that good of a shot. Oh, he's got a little flick up there. Distance? No. Don't, don't be silly. Oh, imagine. Rainbow flick into a shot. Get up. Oh, my God. He's in the crossbar. Has he got the pace? First time hit. Traore with the equaliser. Beautiful stuff from him. Left foot straight across goal. And that is where a five-star weak foot definitely comes in handy. And again, he's going to put the burners on. But that, that's where a an, an intelligent defender really kind of makes his worth. There he is. First time again. And Donnarumma would have saved this time. But normally, you will find that if somebody doesn't know necessarily what the acceleration is like on a card. They won't really know which side to go. And especially if you pick the right side, you can just absolutely burn past them. Obviously, a lot of centre-backs nowadays have 
unreal amounts of acceleration and sprint speed themselves. But the natural accelerations, the Lozano, I really like his acceleration, as well as someone like Troy Ray. And I've probably said it in the past. There is definitely a few more out there that just scream very, very quick players. And uh, uh, definitely, oh, Salah's another one. Great acceleration. But you see there the sprint speed. We've got Lottie chasing as much as we can. Going to just go straight across goal. But that's it. That's where you kind of can absolutely power past the defender. And then it's all what you do after, really. You need to have a game plan once you've kind of gone past them. What What is the next move? Because just running isn't going to work anymore in this FIFA with, obviously, all of the high-rated cards that we've got. Finds it into Pele. He's got to get it over Donnarumma. And again, we go for the wrong shot. How on earth he manages to rectify that corner. Can we go for a little cheeky rainbow flick into the volley? And Donnarumma's just about got that one. Oh my god. This guy doesn't score on his right foot. That is unreal. I went for a hit and hope. And he's absolutely rifled it. I don't know if we're going to see the replay here. I really wish we get to see the replay. But that was absolute fire. Pings it in. Little turn. Power. Thank you very much. Triore joins the Hattie gang. There it is. Oh, he misses out for four. Here he is. Big pace. Big pace. Just absolutely blows the defender away. And that is just stunning from him. He is just a monster up front. There is times where I think, yes, he may not necessarily be the greatest player in the world. But I think definitely that, that kind of just shows you the capabilities of this man. If you really just put your mind to it. Very, very well done. So if we are going to him then, 625, 546, 505. He's fluctuating a little bit, and I do see him dropping down that little bit more. Like I say, there is a lot of high-rated players now, and unless you've got a 5-star, five 5-star, five or for some reason you are an absolute machine, you're not necessarily going to stick at a massive price. We've got so many players now that are very, very cheap. In terms of this guy, though, chemistry style marksman is what people are going for. Does turn him into a 96, 97 kind of cam center forward. 93 striker if you really wanted to. Gives you the 98 dri uh, dribbling, which is always good. Composure could be a little bit higher. That is kind of probably where the only bit is lacking for him. Everything else looks pretty good in order. You've got the strength, which is at 99. With the marksman, you get the jump in. He's already got good amounts of stamina. Passing, can't argue. Pace is maxed. And then shooting and dribbling. Both pretty much maxed out there. The four star, five star is nice. What was he before? A four star, two star. So that's actually such a big jump right there. Even his versus cards. A four, a four star, two star is not going to be in this game at all. So a four, five. I like that increase. It's very good. In terms of the Spaniards that I was on about then. Pedri. And even Pedri. He is an absolute phenomenal centre mid. Coming in at the same price. That tells you that he will drop at some point. Ramos, another cracking one that was his partner today. Um, you got Charles Gill, a couple of icons that, to be honest, are coming in relatively cheap nowadays. Uh, Laporte from Community, Thiago De Gea. Not as many as a four in the top end, actually. I thought there was more 95, 94s, but apparently not. We've got Busquets. We've got Ferran Torres, obviously a cracking card right there, coming in at 180. And Zufati, who was an objective. Delafeu. Delafeu was absolutely unreal. I believe he was an SBC. I hope you have done him because he would be a cracking partner with Traore. But in terms of the La Liga then, because obviously he's changed from uh, Prem to, uh, to La Liga, we have got a lot of top end La Liga, obviously. Hazard coming in nice, Benzema, Modric, even a Marcelo is very, very nice. Coming in at a high end price right now. Vinny is also incredible. You can see the level that we're at now. You can make a pretty solid team in any league at this point now, just for the fact that we've got so many high-end cards and we're not even at footage yet. So this could actually be probably one of the better games for variety of card by the end of it because there's so many that you can go with that it's unreal. Troy Ray in the first game definitely got me... A little bit worried that the card was high rated, but not quite there. I felt like his pace was unreal. The the strength and everything was good, but the finishing wasn't. But then the second game definitely turned that around. Four goals. You don't get that from many players unless literally you just kind of pass it across net. But there was absolute rockets. There was nice little dribbling from him. A couple of rainbow flicks. 
he had a good amount of package on him. Yes, I did feel a little bit of bulkiness every now and then, but much, much better than what I know Troy Ray to be. And I think definitely, if you put him on the wing, his pace is going to be better than most. And that is even with these team of the seasons. He was blistering past a lot of these centre-backs, which is very hard to do at this kind of level, really. But in terms of Troy Ray, I think if I'm going to be realistic with him as a centre-forward striker cam, a forward player at best, I'd probably give him a solid 9.6. I think the weak foot is a massive increase. That is absolutely beautiful. I didn't even realise it was so low. Skill moves, I'll take. Four star is not necessarily awful. We're all looking for that five, obviously, but I'll take a four. Pace is incredible. Shooting was decent. Definitely not striker level, but definitely decent. Passing's okay. Dribbling was good enough for the card, but I think definitely you could find better at that point, especially if he keeps this sort of price. I could probably see him going for around about two to three fifty, maybe, but again, that is all depend on supply and demand. Strength wise, can't get much better. So I think for me, a solid card all round. Definitely not worth 600, but I'd say I would I would personally be happy to buy him at 200. But I think if you go in for free 350, then I'd see it as an okay card. Just wanted him that little bit cheaper. So let me know down below what you think about trial rate and also the mini releases. Make sure you do check out the links down below in the second channel. Make sure you do like and subscribe, and hopefully we have a look at that Tiago Mendes and also Chan on the second count. So make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll catch you all for the next one. Peace.